The Volvo XC is a four-door mid-size luxury SUV manufactured and marketed by Volvo Cars since 2002 with seating for up to seven passengers and is currently in its second generation. Today, I'm proudly to present to you the all-new 2016 Volvo XC90 T6 all-wheel drive all-design version. For 2016, the new Volvo XC is based on Volvo's new platform, marketed and scalable product architecture technology, which features a stronger platform offering weight reduction while improving safety and efficiency. The vehicle is also longer, wider, and lower than its predecessor. Our engine in the new XC90 will be a 2-liter 4-cylinder super and turbocharged with Volvo's 8-speed Geartronic automatic transmission. The lineup will include three different engine choices. The XC T5 will be powered by a turbocharged 2-liter engine that produces 250 horsepower and 258 pound-feet of torque. It is available in front or all-wheel drive with a 0 to 60 time in 7.5 seconds. Next up is the XC T6, which is what I have here today. It is powered by an innovative 2-liter supercharged and turbocharged 4-cylinder engine that pushes out 316 horsepower and 295 pound-feet of torque. All-wheel drive comes standard with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of 6.6 .6 seconds according to Volvo. The last engine choice will be the one equipped in the XC90 T8, which is a plug-in hybrid that utilizes the same engine as the standard XC90 T6, along with an extra 87 horsepower electric motor, fed by a 9.2 kilowatt battery pack that makes the total output to be 400 horsepower and 472 pound-feet of torque, with a 0 to 60 mile per hour time of just 5.5 seconds. So here I have the sticker to the car. As you can see, all the standard and optional equipment that comes with this vehicle. So standard price on this vehicle started from 49800 With all the optional equipment added, it comes up to be at $60,275. Now feel free to pause the video and take a closer look if you like. Up front, the first thing you'll notice is the front LED lightning that help accentuate the XC90 T6. Full automatically LED headlight with strikingly new design LED daytime running light as well as LED turn signal light. Very stylish looking LED headlight. High intensity retractable headlight washer as well as park assist are also built into the front bumper. At the bottom is the pair of LED fog light with corner illumination that comes standard on this model. And there you can see the aggressively looking lower front spoiler as well as the all design grille in metal. Front camera is also integrated to the Volvo logo. Very good looking front end. It also comes with intermittent rain sensing windshield wipers with adjustable speed. Now moving to the side, you see that this particular model I have here today comes upgraded with 20 inch 5 spoke all design alloy wheels that comes with the all design package with 275 45 per hour tire. Behind the wheel is the set of internally ventilated brake discs and the huge brake caliber for faster stopping. Brake caliber are painted in silver. And there you have the body color side molding. Silver side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal indicator. Side camera are also integrated into the side view mirror. On top, you can see the huge panoramic sunroof that cover roughly the entire roof as well as the double aluminum roof rails. Rear wheels are also 20 inches and comes with 275 45 per hour tire as well. Behind the rear wheel is also the set of internally ventilated brake discs as well as the power assisted brake caliber painted in silver. It also comes with the interlock braking system with hill start assist, hill distance control as well as road stability controlled. Tire pressure monitoring system are also equipped on all four wheels. To the back, you quickly notice the unique and stylish LED tail light with integrated LED brake light as well as LED turn signal light. LED tail lights are very unique and special. And there you have the T6 all design all wheel drive badge on the lift gate. At the bottom is the all design rear diffuser that frame the dual chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflectors and park assist are also integrated into the rear bumper. 
Rear view camera is located right above the license plate and will activate once the vehicle is in reverse. And on the left hand side you have the XC90 badge. On top you have the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Very cool looking rear ends. Okay, here I have the remote with Volvo logo on the back. Now all the buttons are located on the side, there you have the panic button, lock, unlock, as well as trunk release button. Okay, now let's open it up and check out the interior. So the car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, just press the button located on the door handle once to lock. Side view mirror will automatically fold once the vehicle is locked. After a few seconds, place your hand behind the door handle to unlock. And once again, side mirror will automatically unfold. The exterior color is known as crystal white metallic, featuring a full black leather and microfiber interior with white contrast stitching all around. It also comes with a metal mesh aluminum trims as well as gloss black wood trims throughout. Very sporty looking interior. Now let's jump into the driver's seat, start it up and see how it sounds. So with your foot on the brake, just turn the engine knob there to the right to uh, start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the 2016 Volvo XC90 T6 have to offer. Under the hood is a 2 liter super and turbocharged inline 4 cylinder engine with 8 speed Geotronic automatic transmission with steering wheel mounted pedal shifter, all wheel drive system with adjustable drive mode selection. It is pushing out 316 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. It can hit from 0 to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds according to Volvo. Top speed is electronically limited at 130 miles per hour in the US. EPA estimated fuel economy is 20 city, 25 highway, and 22 combined very impressive engine. Now let's shut it down and take a detailed look at the interior. Here is a look at the driver's side door panel. It is all black with metal mesh aluminum trims as well as chrome trims. All four windows are fully automatic and there you have the window lock. Side view mirror controlled and it does feature folded option. Door lock and unlock. Three position memory sitting. And there you have the speaker. And another one down there. Door storage compartment. All design aluminum door sealed. And there's the sport pedal. So here is a closer look at the uh, front bucket seat. It is wrapped in black leather with microfiber insert in the middle with all design embossed on it. Now both front seats feature 10-way power adjustable front seat including 4-way power lumbar support, a memory system for driver seat record 3 star position for the seat, steering wheel as well as outside mirror. And both front seat does feature heated option. The 3 spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in leather with perforated side grip and white contrast stitching all around looks and feel very sporty it also comes with a multi-function control side by side for your convenience with control for audio voice command as well as the most frequent use function in the vehicle behind the steering wheel you have the up and down pedal shifter so you can put it in manual mode for a more aggressive ride 
and there you have the windshield wiper controlled and here you have the light controlled as well as turn signal light windshield wiper control there again steering wheel does feature power tilt and telescopic steering column and here is a closer look at the instrument cluster which feature a large digital screen in the middle that display all the information directly in front of the driver in razor sharp brilliantly clear and high contrast quality which is a very nice feature uh, in my opinion and you can control the uh, manual via the uh, button located on the steering wheel the route is being calculated please proceed to the highlighted route and it can also display the uh, navigation on the uh, instrument cluster which is a very nice feature and you also have uh, adaptive cruise control and uh, all kind of different setting on there over here you have the driver side air vent with beautiful trims and there's the trunk release as well as the instrument light control here you have the storage compartment and a closer look at the dash now this particular model I have here today comes standard with the audio system featuring 10 total speaker that pushes out 330 watts of beautifully balanced audio for both you and your passenger and there you have the large multimedia screen in the middle it is touch screen there you have my car sound navigation media communication climate and system the system are very responsive as you can see so if you scroll down from, from top you have uh, a menu that uh, come down just like uh, what you have on your phone and at the bottom there you see your full zone climate control on the screen and you can uh, swipe it horizontally to move uh, around the menu of the screen .com just by using promo code rush that's b o m i r radio dot com i'm gonna stand by you very nice sound quality So on top of the screen there you see all different uh, vehicle function and there you have the camera, park assist, park in and park out, headrest fold and all your different uh, control for the seat. Now for your convenience you can also control the uh, front passenger seat through the screen and the button in the middle is the uh, return home button. And there you have message, car status, driver performance. get back into that menu and uh, you also have the navigation system there down here is your emergency hazard light and the controller to your infotainment system and there you have the glove box release button and located in the center console is your gear shift lever it is wrapped in black leather feels very nice in your hand so just pull it down to get into reverse and the uh, rear camera will appear on the multimeter screen with guidance line and you can also choose between different uh, camera views as well as the over the top cameras very convenient and you uh, can also control the uh, park assist if you need help with uh, parallel parking and stuff down for neutral and down again for drive over to the left for manual or sport mode and that's when you can use the steering wheel uh, mounted paddle shifter to change gear and up again for park and there you have the engine start and stop knob over to the right for start left for stop and there's the drive select mode you can choose between eco, comfort, off-road and dynamic and there's the park and brake 
Kiki automatic brake hold. Here you have the uh, storage compartment, two cup holders. And there's the 12 volt power plug. Center storage compartment with USB and auxiliary input. Beautiful trims on the dash. And here's a look at the glove box compartment once again. And a closer look at the seat. Very nice looking seat with great upholstery material. I love the way it looks. Make it look very sporty. On top here you have the light control. The one touch open and close a uh, panoramic sunroof as well as the sunshade. So the panoramic sunroof can be tilted up for ventilation or slide open for an open air feeling. And that's how it looks right there. Very nice feature to have. Then you also have the SOS button to use in case of an uh, emergency. And the uh, rear view mirror with 3 button universal garage door opener. Here's the sun visor mirror with a card holder. Alright, so now let's check out the uh, second row seat. Looks like second row seat of a seating for 3. And it does offer a lot of leg room as you can see. Second row seats are very sporty as well. And here's a look at the uh, rear driver side door panel with beautiful aluminum trims. There you have the lock button. Rear windows are also automatic and the uh, storage compartment. The aluminum door seal for the rear. All right. I'm inside the uh, second row seat. As you can see, I have plenty of leg room left. And I look to the top. Very spacious cabin. Down here, you have the full zone climate control for the rear passenger. And it does feature a heated uh, seat option as well. A 12 volt power plug rear seat pocket so as you can see I have no problem with my leg room very nice quality uh, upholstery material for the rear and a look to the uh, third row seat you have light on top and hand bar as well as a hook and light here and there is also a lot of uh, headroom as well air vent on the side and another hook there okay now let's fold down the second row seat and let's see how easy it is to get into the uh, third row seat so you got to fold it once and then pull another lever to get into the back row but you first have to lift uh, up the third row seat first so third row of a seating for two as you can see. It is kind of tight just by looking at it. So here I am in the back. As you can see I barely have any leg room left. If I slide the second row seat back. So I will not recommend any adult to be sitting on the back. Just small children for best comfort. But you do have a uh, cup holders, storage compartment, air vent, and all sort of things on the back. There's another air vent there, cup holders, and more storage compartment. Light on top, and here's the look to the back. So just small children or kids only for best comfort in, in the uh, third row seat. Alright, now let's pop the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. 
So the trunk in the XC90 offer 15.8 cubic feet of cargo space. That's with all the seats up. And if you fold all the rear seats down, you get a total of 85.7 cubic feet of cargo space. That is plenty of space for your needs. And keep in mind that you can fold it into uh, the seats down into many different configurations for your convenience. That's a 12 volt power plug. And here you have your floor mat. Let's see what we have down here. You have more storage compartment, a hook, and you can fold both of the uh, third row seats by pulling the lever located behind the seat. And this is how it looks with the seats folded. So there is absolutely plenty of space for your needs. And here you have the uh, lock button and the one touch close. So gas cap is located on the passenger side. It does require premium and later fuel only and holds approximately 18.8 .8 gallons of fuel. Overall, the 2016 Volvo XC T6 is a luxury mid-size SUV with seating for 7 passengers. Second row seating are quite generous with 38.5 inches in headroom, 37 inches in legroom, and 56.5 inches in shoulder room. Third row, however, are only recommend for small kids or children for best comfort. The front cabins are very spacious with great upholstery material and nicely premium wood trims and silver accenting trims all around. Here is another look to the uh, back. Now let's jump into the front passenger seat and see how it is in the front. So like I mentioned earlier, it is very spacious and very comfortable. The seats offer plenty of support. Alright guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the new 2016 Volvo XC90 T6. Go ahead and leave me a comment letting me know uh, how you guys like it. And uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more future video review and I'll see you guys next time